it just seems to me that we don't have leaders willing to go out and, and say, to your point, this is going to be hard. And I look like this, so I don't know what that looks like. And I need help and I'm willing to, you know, learn and, and change. But it's- I think too, one of the things that again, I, I'm sharing this from a, a very place of a big place of vulnerability. Um, sometimes I don't know what to say, right? Or I'm afraid that I'm going to say the wrong thing. Um, and I think many of us that are leaning into this space and, you know, do this in a place for our organization, um, I just want to throw that out that that might be a challenge or an obstacle that is being thought of. That's a real thing. And Jarrett, when we're talking about that idea of moving beyond allyship, that mm-hmm. is one of the biggest things that leaders need to get past is I, that fear of making a mistake preventing you from getting an action, right? Because yeah. at the end of the day, you're not going to say everything perfectly. You're going to make mistakes. I've been doing this work for 20 years, y'all, and I say the wrong thing sometimes. It's true. Sure. It happens. So you will you will get into those spaces of uncomfort. You will get into spaces where you didn't frame something properly. But the more we just start to say, we're going to get out there because being in action is better than being perfect because mm-hmm. that authenticity over perfection mm-hmm. is what's required here. And at the end of the day, you might get misunderstood and, and said your motivations aren't right, even though you know that they are, but that doesn't mean you stop. That means you just sort of keep going. And the more you lean into that discomfort, the easier it becomes as you continue to do it, right? But Jarrett, what you're naming is real and it's valid. And we just have to say, how do we push through that? And how do we begin to sort of go to that humble place and Julia, to your point, getting out into the communities and having those conversations is is a scary thing to do. A, we might not know what the answer is going to be, or we might not be ready for what the answer or the conversation is, but it's also required for us to really be able to make the impact for our entire community. You know, it's just part of what we need to get into the the system of doing, because if we're going to sit in our office and do things to communities versus doing things with communities and through communities, long-term, it's not going to serve you or your community the way that it needs to be served. So.